So step one in creating um, this jam extension is to take your MDF or Xterra and, and run it on the table saw to create a slight rabbit. And then when you install it, you want to have the leading edge of the MDF slightly proud of the drywall so that when you run your drywall knife on it, it acts effectively like a corner bead. I'm about to show you um, the taping method that you want to use when you're using this um, type of method to ensure that you get good adhesion. So I'm going to show you how to um, load up the paper tape. Uh, I recommend paper tape for, versus fiber tape uh, to minimize cracking. And unlike uh, a normal situation where you would use drywall compound to set your tape, you want to use a type of adhesive uh, that will ensure good adhesion to the MDF jam extension and the drywall. Uh, today we're going to use no more nails, um, but I've used actually carpenter's glue in the past and had great success. Um, so basically, you just want to load up the tape, find yourself a nice flat surface to work on, and you want to make sure that you get really good coverage right to the very edge of the tape both ends the same way that you would if you were using drywall compound. You want to make sure that there are no dry spots on the paper. And just get a nice even coat of adhesive on there. And then take it over to your jam extension. And again, you're treating it very much like you would if you were doing paper tape on a flat joint between drywall sections. So the key here is to get a nice tight fit up against the rabbit cut that you made on your table saw. Just press it in. And then you're just gonna flush it out like you would normally. Overlapping your joints like you normally would. And squeeze out the excess. Now you can run your knife right along the edge of that rabbit cut on your jam extension. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to let that dry for a bit. Maybe a couple of hours. If you're using carpenter's glue, it doesn't take too long to dry. So I'd recommend maybe at least an hour to let that set before you continue mudding. Uh, there's a couple of key things that you might want to keep in mind if you're going to try this technique. Uh, one of which is once you've cut your rabbit on your jam extension on the table saw, you'll be left with a small area at each intersection that you'll have to cut so that you end up with a square corner. So you can simply just take um, a utility knife and just cut it straight. That way when you run your trowel across, you're running across a completely square corner. The other thing that's important is when you're putting your first coat on, which when you're doing taping, you should get into the habit of using a sheetrock product for your first coat because um, it doesn't shrink as much and it's a little bit more durable. Um, and in this case, it uh, minimizes cracking, so which is something that you don't want. So as you can see, I've already done these three sides of the window. Um, our tape is now dry, so we can go ahead and put a coat of sheetrock on it. In this case, I'm using sheetrock 20, just because uh, we want to expedite the process for the video. So you load it up in the same way that you would do a corner bead with a six inch knife or And you don't want to come too far out because after that you probably are going to move to a 12 inch trowel for your finishes. So you simply work your way around like you would.
with any other corner bead situation. You try to make sure that you get good coverage on your tape. And the idea is that it's okay to cover the edge of the MDF. And just scrape off the excess and then we'll all get painted out once you've finished your final coat. And that's it for this round. Stay tuned for next coat.